Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. We're currently running a giveaway for those who are liking our videos, so give the video a like if you want to be entered into that giveaway. So we're just taking a quick look at Ethereum here. As you can see, our analysis for some reason has disappeared from this chart specifically. So I'm just going to draw back in some of these key levels you can see very clearly here. We've got some fairly decent key levels in and around here, here and here. Obviously, there's a very decent one, we'd say, also in this area as well. Ethereum, a very decent chart. A very interesting chart as well. You can see, obviously, lower lows and lower highs. Massive capitulation down to around 875 ish dollars there. But we did get a bounce back up into this area. Formed a bit of a range like this. And then we actually came back up all the way up to around, what was it, $2,000. Basically, a very, very nice 100% gain there over a few period of a month or so. And obviously... It's pretty uh, pretty interesting to see how much Ethereum did bounce in those areas. We come up and we get stuck under that psychological 2K, 2K level, don't we? Getting overextended. And then obviously once we had the upgrade and the merge, Ethereum did actually come back down and sell off back to support. Now looking like it has had a nice little decent bounce in this area here, this previous level of resistance that we saw at the, you know, in this little range like this. Came back up, retested as support, and you know potentially here, we could be looking at forming a high high and a high low, couldn't we? If we come up and form another high high, breaking this level here at around $2,040, then we would be probably in the clear for some upside and a bullish market structure for Ethereum. So pretty interesting to see how it's been performing. If I just take a quick look at the Fibonacci here from the high of the previous bull market to the low, we can get an idea of what's been going on. You can see fairly clearly here that we've actually come up. We've broken through the, uh, the 038 there, but we've got stuck under that previous swing high along with, you know, basically the 050 getting almost touched here in reality, isn't it? We'd say that in, co in comparison to the fact that, you know, Ethereum, it has been doing pretty well recently, but obviously getting quite overextended here. You can see that we actually come all the way up. We get overextended on the RSI and then we have that sell-off. We come back down to this swing low here and then with the merge, we did have that sell-off here, but we've actually come down, made a high high, and a higher low here we've got back tested on this level of the 023 as support now looking like we are getting a bounce again off that low bit of a renaissance i'm probably expecting as we said to have a bit more upside here for ethereum and if it does come up and make a high high again we'd have a bullish market structure wouldn't we which would be the first sign of potentially a bit of a bull market for ethereum so be interesting to see what happens the fibs here being very well respected we'd say for short-term price predictions to keep things very short and sweet Heading back up to that $1,766 level here would be our, you know, moving up to the upside or that 038 at the very least at $1,700. Or if we're rolling over, back testing again at that 023 level most likely would be the case, followed by, you know, hopefully a bit more upside for Ethereum. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.